Jesus gave his life for ransom, yonder on Calvary. On that Calvary, cruel Calvary, paved the way by blood that we might win a bright shining crown. Raise his blessed holy name, salvation has been brought down, oh glory. Praise the Lord, so bless the Lord, salvation has been brought down.
this next song is uh, entitled Keep on the Sunny Side of Life. And I, a lot of these songs that we are singing today, we've been singing all throughout the year, a lot of them. But I had to throw in a couple old ones and a couple new ones here. So this is one of them, Keep on the Sunny Side of Life. Um, I know a lot of you might know it, and so I think I might give you a chance after the second time through on the last uh, course. I'll turn it around and can join in.
Isn't that exciting? I think it is. Alright, I am going to try something that we never tried before, and that is, I'm going to help along with a song, but the problem is, I didn't want to sing by myself, and I got this idea for the song, uh, I was hanging out with these guys who can come along a whole out. And somewhere I, I got to know these guys. I'm not sure if we're going to let them go back to where they're from. Uh, Dan's here right in the coast. But Terrell's from Michigan. Matt over here's from uh, Minnesota. Matt's from Michigan. And uh, Matt uh, Swartz and Trooper is from uh, Montana. So it's great having these guys around. And so they're going to help us do somebody sing.
Those are the people that deal with your children every day. No, it is, it is a real blessing. You know, children are just, they bring about a lot of joy. And so we are, we feel like it's very uh, kind of a privilege to have your children. All right, let's uh, have a uh, sixth grade through eighth grade come on up here. And you guys can again kill the lights. Let's sing uh, the, the version while they're coming up here. Let's sing uh, Amazing Grace Fill My Cup version. The children's school, if you ask for a request, that song is probably number one. So let's sing it here this evening. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound. Let's hear the rest.
excitement in the building tonight, is there not? If you can turn the house lights up for me, that was real good. I'll tell you what, when them boys grow up and grow up even more, they are going to be quite some singers. Good job, Jason, and I can see why I gave my middle school music a long time ago. They, that I was just excellent, excellent singing. Thank you, young men. Thank you all for coming out this evening. It is good to see each one of you here. And um, it's, it's just it's been so enjoyable to be here. And if you're listening or watching online, thank you so much for joining us too. We are glad you could do that. There is one person that is not here tonight that has me very sad and many, and, and I don't, he has probably not missed a Fairview Christian School program in the 40 years, or we're getting close there, that is, we've existed, and that is Brother Fox is not with us this evening, which makes me very sad. So if you would, and we're going to say a prayer for him here in a minute, Brother Fox is not feeling well, he had gone to the emergency room yesterday, he is home, it turned out to be an, an inner ear infection that went, it didn't go well, but anyway, he is home, he is recovering, and uh, Brother Fox, let me say, we are praying for you. We are disappointed you're not here. We love you very much. And uh, I know he was so disappointed. He almost wanted to drag himself here. But thankfully, we did not allow him. But Brother Fox, we are praying for you to get well soon. We are going to pass the plate. And if you want to help Fairview Christian School, we would appreciate that. Man, just give me the lights for a little bit. Yeah, I think house lights. We'll need them a little bit. I traveled a weary road and I still do Never did quite fit in and that's still true I'm still a foreign man but so much has changed I was an exile but I've got a new name I'm a pilgrim down the street and narrow way I found driven no more I'm here for that
This is the high school, the post game show. I feel like we got out done, man. That was some good. I don't know where else you could go. I've not been to many other school programs, but I doubt there's many other places out there where you can go and get the same quality of elementary school singing and middle school singing and high school singing. And I think that credit goes to, to many individuals for that. Um, I'm talking here because I thought you might need a, a little extra time for obvious reasons. Um, so ignore the crutches and the missing shoe here. But uh, uh, Todd, Todd tweaked his ankle a little bit uh, when we were at our basketball tournament. Um, maybe a little bit more than tweaked it. But I hope that uh, as we were talking just this last Thursday in our, in our men's staff meeting, uh, I came up with things, you know, all the stuff that we do that's just makes us so busy, it seems like we're running from one thing to the next. We ask a good question that you should ask, her, uh, you should ask yourself, um, you know, is it, are we just too busy? Um, and we, we discuss kind of some of the things that our school is involved in, and some of us have mentioned things about convention, and you know, it does add a lot of business to it, but I, I want to testify too, as well as Jason did too, just, you know what, the things that I learned during school, all the stuff in school that was good for me, learning to sing, to sing in front of people, to, to use your voice, um, to do a speaking uh, speaking thing in front of people. You know, it's just really good to get young people to do that. And so I'm glad that our school, Fairview, for a long time has had a culture of people who sing and who speak um, and are not afraid to do that. And um, I'm glad and proud that that's part of what our school is, is about. Um, and also, mentioned in that same discussion was, you know, people that don't like to sing, you know, people that just really don't want to sing. Is that wrong? And I don't know. I, I think that singing is a tool to worship God, and if that doesn't appeal to you, even if you don't enjoy it, maybe you're not good at it, I think everybody should want to worship God in whatever way that we can. And if singing is another way that you can, boy, we should do that. If speaking in front of people is a way that we can worship God, let's do that. And we want that our school to promote things like that. So I hope you can enjoy these, these high school singing groups. Um, and um, those first three songs are actually very much about the Christian life. And I hope you listen to the, the words and messages of these songs. Hi, boys. You were my strength when I am weak. You were the treasure that I seek. You were my all in all. Seeking you as a precious jewel. Lord, to give up I'd be a fool. You were my all in all. Jesus. Jesus, <laughs> Jesus. Yes, boys. Yes. 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 
your question. All right, I'm a little busy, but I see that. What are you doing? <laughs> Candy Crush. Oh, oh, yeah. You know, I just downloaded this game earlier today, and uh, okay. Oh, level two. Okay, look. I just want to ask you a question. Okay. I want to hear the Lord speak to me. I was wondering. Hey, did you get my email this morning? Uh, no. Yeah, yeah, I sent you an email about volleyball practice. No, I didn't check my email. It's early. Yeah, well, I was wondering if you could... Oh, level three! Look, I just want to ask you a question, all right? Just really quick. Yeah, yeah. I want to hear the Lord speak to me. I think that He speaks to us, but I'm not sure I hear Oh, I forgot. I forgot to run this morning. I should probably go do that before it gets too hot. Are you even listening to me? Yeah, yeah, I'm totally tracking with you right now. Really? Well, that's nice. You were asking me something. Yes, I want to know if God speaks to us. I think that he speaks to us, but I don't know how to hear it. Okay. I was thinking, like, in the Old Testament, Moses, right? He goes up onto the mountain, and God's like, Moses, and then the mountain shakes, and then, then God, like, speaks to him. Yeah. And in the New Testament, Jesus was here, and people could go, and they could talk to him all the time. And, right. And they said, you know, I'm going to leave my spirit to help you and guide you and stuff like that. Okay. So, I don't know. I just don't hear the Lord speaking to me like that. I want to hear him, you know. Do you know what to do? Well, you see, you got to understand, the Lord doesn't speak like that anymore. What? No, he doesn't talk out loud. Wait, yes, he speaks. Really? Well, how do I hear him? What do I do? Here, hold this. See, one way is you go to a place where there's a steeple, right? And you open up, and there's people. Yeah. Right, you go to church. Okay, sure, but God speaks through the church. And another way is uh, through prayer. Right. Communication with the Father, right? Back and forth, back and forth. It's a two-way thing. Okay, sure, but... And it's like the prayers go up and the blessings come down. Now, another way is through the Bible, right? The Word of God. It's like you open it up and it just kind of pops up out at you. Wow, but my Bible... A pop-up Bible! I don't understand, Ashlyn. I do a lot of those things, but it feels like I'm missing something. What I'm talking about is something deeper, something personal. Well, I don't know. I never heard of him. But let me look it up! No! Don't distract me! Distract you? Yeah, I can't thumb type while you're talking to me. Hey, pizza's on sale. Distract. <laughs> that makes total sense. I know, because... No, what you said was distract. Distracted! Yeah, I do get distracted. Maybe that's what the problem is! Okay. I mean, every day I'm running all around and I'm doing stuff and... I never, ever just stop and listen. Wait, stop and listen to what? To God. I mean, how do I expect to hear him speak to me unless I actually give him time to talk? I told you, he doesn't talk out loud anymore. No, 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 no. This is it. And besides, you need to do stuff. Go to work, go to school, play video games, and work on hand-eye coordination. Um, I get that. But it seems if I want to make the Lord speak to me, I need to give him time to talk. Okay, you know what? Let's try it right now. He can talk if he wants, but he's not done. Okay, you sit right here. I'm gonna go over here. I'm just gonna wait for the Lord to speak. Wait, wait. You want me to sit here and wait for God to talk? Yes, yes, yes. That is exactly what we're going to do. Okay, great. Let's do this. Here we go. Hey, what are you doing? Waiting for God to talk? Can I see that just for a minute? You know, come out. you should... Okay, what we're doing here is we're stopping. Hey, what are you doing? Give that back, that's rude. And we're listening, okay? <sighs> Great, here we go. Just shh, just shh. What are you doing? Inhale. Look, Ashlyn, what is this? I don't know. I saw it on TV once. TV, uh-huh. Don't do everything you see on TV. 
I don't do everything, just some things. No, just sit still. It's really hard to just sit still. I know, but you can do this. You don't have to make any noise or yeah. Shit. Oh, my God. 
can uh, get up and come on up here. And um, as they do, can you say amen to that last song? Amen. amen. There's nothing greater than grace. Boy, that song inspires me. Um, and really, if there's, if you just take home one of the lines of that song with you this evening, boy, it might be able to help you get through another week, really. Um, there's nothing greater than grace. Nothing. And... Um, like I mentioned before, it kind of ended up being sometimes you have accidental themes in these things. I think this evening for the high school, it's been just the um, the songs of God walking with us through life. And um, as we approach the, the Easter season, sometimes we have some more Easter type songs for the Spain program. Not quite as much this year, but I'm so thankful that because He lives, I can face tomorrow. And um, I'm thankful that we have a living Savior who walks with us through life. We don't have to face those challenges, those things that face us every day. Uh, we don't have to face them alone. And I'm thankful for that. And some of our choir, a couple of our choir songs really fit along that theme as well. Um, so the first one is, is just a song of worship called Adoration.
song, I think the main reason we're singing it is just because it's a song that I like so much. And so I decided to try to let our choir, uh, have our choir sing it, and I think it turned out pretty good. Um, but I want you to really listen to this, the, the words of the song, it's easy to miss. So I just want to point out, the first verse of this song talks about, it's, the title is The Walls Came Down. It's, it's not a protest to any political candidate. <laughs> um, but it's called The Walls Came Down. And uh, the first verse talks about Jericho and Joshua at the Battle of Jericho. And they looked at those walls, they could see them, and it seemed impossible. Thought the fight must, I mean, they were looking for a real bloody fight about to happen. And God took those walls down in a way that they had, that they had not planned at all. And God removed that wall. The second verse talks about um, Philip and the, the eunuch that was, that was on his way back to Ethiopia. And he was searching the scriptures, looking for, you know, how he was supposed to worship God. What these verses meant that he was reading from the Old Testament. And God broke down that wall of his understanding by bringing Philip there. And in a way that he didn't expect at all, Philip showed up and explained it to him and he received salvation. The third verse talks about someone who's dealing with cancer. And I don't know if there's, I'm sure there's some here who have, who have experienced that or walked alongside someone who has um, the journey of walking through with cancer or disease and how we pray for, how we pray for healing. And the end of that line says, um, Freedom was prayed for, and freedom uh, freedom received, but not in this life. A reprieve was not to be, though he truly was set free. And God took down that wall in a way that we didn't really plan it, but God took that, took that pain away. And so I don't know what your situation is here tonight. This song is just one that speaks to me because when I face something, when I see a wall in front of me, and I'm sure there's many of you can testify that to a wall in your life that is sitting in front of you, it seems impossible to overcome. And I want you to listen to this song and be assured tonight that God can tear down that wall and it might be in a way that you never expected.
God is good. Man, I was blessed this evening. Um, what, a, what a great job, high school. I uh, really, really enjoyed that last song as well. Um, that, going back to that staff meeting that Dan had talked about, we talked about a lot of things, and Brian said this in this interview, he said, the shame of this is they spend hours and hours and hours, and they get maybe to do some of them here, some of them on Christian Education Sunday, and at convention, and they don't get used again, or that, that song or that uh, skit or whatever. Pastors, if you're here tonight, and you have a, one of these students in your church, invite them to use their talents in your church. Listen, this is the church of the future. We're getting old. And we, we need to, the, there is value in, in young people being part of our services. And it, maybe, maybe it's a, maybe a, a song you saw up here. Say, bring your two friends, come over, and share that song in our church. Because it's a shame that they only get to do it a few times. You only saw a little bit of what is happening at Fairfax Corner High School right now. There was many groups that we didn't have time for. There was many groups that weren't ready to do their part yet tonight. We're getting ready for convention, which is in about three weeks. And so we're looking forward to that. And there's a lot of groups that didn't get to sing tonight because they weren't quite ready. Um, I hope you enjoyed your evening here this evening. I would, Brian, you didn't show your face at all tonight. Come on up here. And I would like for you to close this evening in a word of prayer. And he'll probably want to talk because he's a fox and that's just what we do. So don't talk, all right? Just pray. Shall we close your prayer? <laughs> oh, what a joy. Thank you for coming tonight. I bless the young folks. You did a great job. And uh, Dan has just really been a blessing in helping in the high school. And I've really enjoyed being able to, to let him step forward and take care of our music this year. And so would you just would you just bless the high school and the teachers who have Put for, I put so little effort in this program tonight. It's been such a blessing. Would you just show appreciation to the to the those who It's the first time in 23 years that I sat back in about five rows and it was it was good. Let's pray. Lord, you've been so good. Tonight, as we go out these doors, there might be a wall in our life that we're facing. And Father God, we don't know always your purposes and your plans in our lives, and we don't know, we don't necessarily know what's going to happen tomorrow. But we have full confidence tonight that you are in control, and that when you went that wall, we come down, you tear down. Help us to have faith to believe that there's doubt in one's heart tonight. Lord, I just pray that the the lyrics and the songs fall away from the young ones up. Um, just to, to stay, stay walking in faith, to stay on the sunny side, to trust you, to believe you, and to know that your presence will always be with us. Bless each one as they go their separate ways. Keep them safe. Thank you, God, that we can be not only friends, but family in Christ. Help us to long for that day when we be together in heaven someday, rejoicing forevermore, worshiping you in your presence. Words in Jesus' name we pray. You're dismissed. Fellowship, as long as you want, the high school will be cleaning up chairs, but that doesn't mean we're trying to kick you out. I just want them to do the work so I don't have to do it. So just fellowship, as long as you want, they'll be just cleaning up some chairs. God bless.